So this is what the outside of the house looks like. You have like a pretty big front yard. Then you have like your guest parking and then your kind of assigned parking with your carport. It is a four bedroom, two bathroom. So two full showers. Then you have your little, what we consider to be the trash can area. This way connects to the kitchen right here. You have a nice little window, but you can kind of have like little play toys and stuff here. And then you have your bins so you can store them here. So it's a lot easier when you have to take trash out. Then you have your front door area. Not everyone has a window. The window to me, personally, I don't really like it, but you know, to each their own. Then as soon as you walk in, excuse the mess. We are literally leaving this house in 30 minutes. As soon as you walk in, you have your living room with your fan, you have a window here, then your sliding glass door that goes out to the backyard, then you have your shed back there. The living room without furniture does not look very big, but it is extremely, extremely spacious, at least for all three of us. And then this is where we kind of had our TV, then our couch situation here. Then from the living room, that's the front door. Then you have a little hall closet situation here. Pretty much stores like vacuums, mops, jackets, coats, stuff like that. Then you walk in and you have the kitchen. Kitchen has two doors. Now every Comanche house is different. Literally your next door neighbor and you, my next door neighbor and I, we have completely different homes. Essentially same layout, but different. Don't mind all the trash, literally gonna throw all of this away in a couple minutes. So you walk in, I guess it'd be helpful if I had a light on. Then you have your countertop here. This is where I used to film all of my YouTube videos and all of my content. Then you have your nice stove. It's gas, which is great. And for cabinets, we have great cabinets. Um, there are some houses that have like bad cabinets, I guess, and ours are really good. Then you have the refrigerator. Everything will change like periodically. So for us, we happen to have carpet and then like this, linoleum tile situation and then we have wood in the hallway but every house is completely different some people have like hospital floors is what they call them but you kind of get what you get then you have a dishwasher which is nice your sink cabinets another light and this is where we had like our deep freezer our dining room table and my business refrigerator so it definitely is very spacious um, i would say if you have a circle table or a small square table that would be best. If you have a rectangle table, mm, I don't know, it might not really fit here. Um, it's definitely not built for any high furniture. Then you have that window I was talking about. And here is your patio area trash can situation. And you can always put a padlock on that, which is nice to, you know, make sure no one tries to steal your trash. <laughs> Then my favorite part was our walk-in pantry here. So we had added a shelf going this way and another shelf going this way. So like an L shelf. Um, so it was nice because it just helped with like extra, you know, big storage, but it is deep in here. And let me see if you guys can see how deep it is. Yeah, it's like an entire forearm plus a little bit more. And you have a light in here. Then you keep walking and you go down to the hallway. Once again, like I said, you have like this fake wood situation. Then you have your guest bathroom here. Pretty nice and spacious. And you have bathroom, mirror, shower. Pretty standard. Then this was our office room. This is a little bit smaller of a room, but it is still very decently sized. It could easily fit a bed in here. Um, yeah, and the lighting could definitely be a lot better, but then you have just a window and then you have another closet. The closet is really big. You could fit a couple tough boxes in there. We had three stacked up. It was perfect for storage. Then across the way, you have your, what you would consider like a laundry room. So this shelf is built into the house and it's really sturdy, so it can hold quite a bit. So we had our washer on the left, dryer on the right. We did need like a, an extension hose, but a flat one because the space between here and here, I don't have measurements, but it is, it is very short. Ours happen to fit just perfectly, but if they would have been an inch and a half or bigger, it probably wouldn't have fit. Tall wise, you're good. Outward, whatever the word would be for that, 
yeah, not gonna work. Then, I guess I could have kept the light on. You have a linen closet. Once again, a lot of storage. It does go all the way to the top, but it is kind of inconvenient considering it's very high and hard to reach up there. Then this is our, was our guest bedroom. Very spacious. You have another window. I keep saying spacious about every room because it really truly is. And we have big bulky furniture and it was perfect. Then you have a, another closet. Then coming out of this room, you just have, I guess here where you would change like your air filter and there's like your water tank situation there. Then you have your master bedroom. This is a lot bigger than the houses back at Sill, almost all of the houses that we've ever been in there. Um, so yeah, definitely have a lot more room. You can always look up the dimensions and everything. I think it's like 14 by 18 something. It's very big. Then you have like a giant window and another window here. Our closet could be bigger, but it worked for us. Just pretty standard. Then you have your bathroom. The only thing about the bathroom is the bathroom door and your, of course, entrance door, very different sizes. This door is very, very narrow. So if you're trying to bring, which not much furniture obviously would fit in the bathroom, but if you're trying to bring anything big in, you just have to be careful because it might not fit. Even if you take the door off the hinges, then you walk in, you have, once again, another window here. Then you have your mirror up top, regular standard stuff. And we just happened, this is the shower head that came with the house, but you can always swap it out and get a, another one. And then we'll go to the last room before we move on to the yard. This is the air conditioned situation. I really like it. It's obviously digital, so I think it's great. Then this was our son's room, two windows. Once again, this room's a bit smaller, but it worked for what we needed. And then once again, a closet. Then going out of the sliding glass door, we got really lucky by getting a gigantic, gigantic backyard. Um, one of the biggest ones I've seen in Comanche One, but of course it could be another one that's bigger, but it is really, really big. Got a couple of trees back here. And the thing I like that we live at the end of the cul-de-sac, so it's very secluded. So people that really only live on this road drive down this road. So it makes it a lot better. Of course, sun is like still rising. Then you have your tool shed. Now I will say, once again, just like I've said a million times, it works for what we needed, but definitely if you came from having a garage, this is not gonna be your friend because it is very small. And there are of course lizards and bugs and all that kind of stuff. So you will see like a ton of lizard poop, which sucks. But so this is it. It fits storage containers very well in boxes, but if you have just loose things that are just big, that you would mainly keep in the garage or some type of like, I don't know, storage situation, probably not gonna work well here, but just like the previous residents had like two nails, just kind of nail more things down. Um, yeah, that definitely helps. And this is where we kept like cleaning, not cleaning supplies, but like outdoor equipment and like, you know, charcoals and stuff like that. But that is it. If you guys have, there's just a video of a squirrel now. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know and I would be more than happy to help.